Gol de Boer Monté Gol de Boer Monté Match C'est bon de dire comme un gogué C'est bon de dire comme un gogué I'm going to contradict God's logic. This Australian is going to get loud. Game five, like, I rest in peace, all headphone users. It's it's done. It's hey, you can't done. ask for anything more, right? Yeah. End of the DPC season, <laughs> hey, we get a fifth game. Game, game four, you know what? On game four, I, I, I would have retired a happy man on game four. I'm yeah. done. I'm done. Liquid, I'm done. Liquid winning makes it more epic, though. It, it really just does. We have another really? game. And there were 43,000 people behind, No, I, I want to see I, China I, having confidence going into TI, having VG Gaming coming out on top. I just wanted to game five, which I would never say, usually, okay? I haven't packed. I've got a shuttle at, like, 6 a.m., but I don't care. At a PSA, like, if you're sitting in a crowd and someone says, like, no, I hope it only goes to three, slap them across the face. Take the assault <laughs> charge. It's going to be worth it, because at the end of the day, you always want more Dota. Especially Dota like that. Hell, this is, yes. This is one of those really cool games. Liquid utilizing this concept that I haven't seen, like, this entire series. Double save. You got the put down from the Astral. You got the Oracle for the double. You, you've cleansed me Q. Mm -hmm. You can ult people. And yep. Vici, you got a warlock again, but it's a different <laughs> kind of game this time. Yeah, but you got you can so, deal with the fatals. Yeah, you got you got different ways to actually purge it off. Uh, you don't like the double saves already. Like there's so many saves actually from Liquid. Like my control is going to do it anyway with the Centaur. Um, but yeah, I want to see how well VG go in this game. Like they can add a lot of early pressure, be it through team fights, be it through the try pushing, be it through the initiation that can come in. From uh, from Mars, but VG Gaming have this kicker, right? They got paparazzi mm -hmm. on this morph flick. We've seen teams like Alliance, uh, Mickey, just totally utilize this hero to a point where, like, I have no idea what else I can actually do. I, That's I, maybe where VG Gaming can end up. I, I just love that all four support players are on signature heroes. I could give a damn about the cores. You've got. The GA Dirt Spirit, the Fade Rubik. Uh, four positions just so critical nowadays. I love that they're on what you could say is probably the best hero for both. Two for two, no, three for one runes. Yeah, look, we're able to get the uh, one up on top, Mars. Normally quite good at fighting against it because you're able just to push away with the spear. Oh, he has He did level it up. Already. Oh, hello. Mind control. That's a lot of damage already just to pump into DY. Shadow Word won't heal through that. Kuro tried to help him out. Even a slap into Paparazzi. Another hero who has to be careful about being heavy on agility against this surprise damage that can come from a centaur. Yeah. It's a similar concept that we've seen where Vici has the more tempo lineup. Mm -hmm. They have stronger team fight in the mid game, but Liquid should be able to outscale, assuming they can keep the game relatively even. And everyone's going to get more experience this time around. Duel two, one, two, right across our three cameras. You can cool. see where everyone's running this down. Another great battle to have between we and Ari. It's been a huge tussle yeah. for domination of this mid lane. And both of these heroes need to have a huge impact in this game. Yep. And I love uh, a lot of players have been telling me one of the reasons Centaur's picked up so early in a lot of games is because of aggro duel lanes like this. Oracle Centaur versus the Morph, you can pressure them hard. They're behind in CS for now. But no matter what, you're able to just make sure Paparazzi doesn't have that free game that he wants. Yep. In top lane, the Mars Rubik should be able to do the same to the Spectre. Definitely a laning advantage for Vici. Such an interesting choice as well, going in for that Spectre. Something we haven't seen from Team Liquid to have, well, what is a very slow hero in the safe lane. But does that also mean that Vici can get on top of him early on? Like, like what, what, what's the timing we're looking at from Liquid before they're really going to be effective? I think it's less about timing and more about the way they want to approach fights. They want skirmishes. Beachy Gaming, they want to drop Mars ult, Warlock ult, and uh, have Ori be able to finish the tower with the Edict spam. So you get the chaos from the Spectral yeah. Horn. Does, do you go for like the Radiant style build, uh, or do you actually look to, to get the combat style? I'm not saying like we're looking at Urn and Blade Mail coming mm. in from a Spectre early on, but you have options with this hero. Indeed. And it, I don't know if that's the option I would go for, Toby. <laughs> I think it's likely a... 
Radiance and or Manta first build for Miracle. Although I honestly wouldn't be shocked to see him buy a Midas. He's been doing that on a bunch of heroes lately. It just seems to be meta if you get a good game in the safe lane. Well, if the game doesn't go that long, I'd be okay for that. But uh, he will need to fuse at some point to try and be on top of while everybody else. But that means, man, that, yeah, it's... Mid lane, there's someone a Someone still needs to deal with a little track. Like, that's not just the OD. Weehaw's gonna be okay back behind the tower. Curry is bringing out a fresh salve for him as well as the completed null. On bottom lane, Bob Stomp, follow up, mind oh. control. There's that heavy damage, Whoa. paparazzi. Ooh. That's Oracle Centaur for you. Uh -huh. They were but level this is, three, that was a kill. But this is Warlock Morphling. I'm just gonna like go straight into uh, into Adji, and all of a sudden my life is back again. Cleanse it off. Yeah. No buffs for you. Yeah, so far, too good. It's not the triangle. We won't see quite as much aggression, but remember, you have two four positions that can rotate as much as they desire. GH can move back towards the top lane. This seems so hard for Spectre. The second that you actually move off that lane, GH, like Gang and Fade, they get up in Miracle's face. And Miracle has to tank through it. He's at least got the Wraith Bear as well. Stouch your bottom lane. We go again. Warlock this time around is to be killed off. That's the first blood, even though we don't see the notification. Uh huh. Never know why that works that way, but yeah, miss one. Yeah. Because it updates the gold, but I yeah. guess they just don't feel like the dire side deserves. Yeah, the I glory. need my announcement. Like we have it normally going out in the arena too. The, mm. the stage mapping lights up, and you goes first blood. Like come out. I'm not quite sure that's the accent, Toby, but it's, it's about it's, that. It's as close as I can I can imitate. Unfortunately, there's too many R's in my imitation. Mm. Miracle. <laughs> Trying to block the pull. Rolling Boulder coming in. They're going over towards Mars Fade. He can at least get the Fade Bolt off, and this will slow down the damage of GH and Miracle. Yeah. So they both have to disengage once again. But they're trying to at least say to Yang, like, you can't just do whatever the hell you want up here. You do have the number one CS on the board, but don't feel comfortable. Yep. Yeah. This is fun. Liquid's still with the net worth advantage, though. There's been a lot of regen that's had to be purchased down bottom. So even though the CS is going Vichy's favor, they're not winning in net worth. Um, Mid lane. The, the thing for Liquid is they don't have a, a natural way to push towers, other than maybe Centaur tanking them and then hitting them back. Uh -huh. Vici, we've seen maybe do this, we've seen Sumail do this. If you can get up to a nice level advantage, pick up a couple kills with a fade rotation here or there, you can just run at tier ones with Max Edict and kill them yourself. Yeah, this doesn't really feel like Liquid planned to win the game by killing VG. Yeah. That really feels like the approach here. Yeah. Everything see. went into the lane, it's not the town pressure. Kuro's nice. Here. Pushing him onto the one tree that was still there, but now GH will arrive with the help of Kuro. They want to kill a favor. GH being tossed away with the telekinesis, and Yang turns in towards Miracle. Miracle's going to be careful. Over the trees, the rebuke drops him down to 25 HP, but now there's no matter over on Yang. But Mir Miracle, he's not ready to fight. He just wants the five minute bounty runes, and they might be able to get a revenge kill. A kick away. Yang wants to stay on it. Kuro says no. Stay where you are. It's all good though, as the top shrine is now available. Five minutes, 25 into the game. Just some uh, harass damage. I like the move from Kuro here. He gets mind control into a position where he's strong enough to back lane, as we see here. Mm -hmm. And mind control is both of the bounty runes on bottom as well. Yeah. Keep that in mind that three of the four bounty runes have been collected by Liquid, and the others just sitting there, like, appreciating in yeah. value. It, it's it's super important that you get Centaur into the lane. If you let Morph free farm for a couple of Wraith Bands, he's no longer really able to play Dota, but as you can see, MC, there's no, you know, Rubik can rotate, sure, but it's the Leshrac or the Mars that would be able to set up the kill on the Centaur, and they're just not really we looking are. to rotate yet. Here's your start up, and uh, Rolling Boulder, GH. Oh, early. A fraction of a second too early, but they may still have enough to kill off Fade. Under the tower, no. Fatal Bonds comes in from DY, and GH has to run it off, but the Catapult, and it tanks up so much. GH will still survive, and he steals the double damage rune. All up on top, Yang, again, out of mana. Miracle trying to beat into him once more underneath the tower. Yang so low, but Kuro couldn't nuke him. He gave it a shot, but it was enough. Not even with the two points dispersion, not a single yep. point in Desolates. 3-0-2 build in for Miracle. It's standard, though. It's, you know, maybe you get a kill here and there, but it's about getting that up ASAP. You want to win a game because you're too tanky, you're too survivable. You're not really looking to deal damage to Spectre until those first round items come online. He went for the Soul Ring too, so just trying to maximize on his sustain in this landing phase, sitting at seven HP per second. That's nice for him. 
Miracle, not great on the net worth chart. In fact, everyone's still pretty close. When the TP towards the top lane, they're looking for a kill. Kuro will set it up. Already starting off. Here comes your rolling bottle follow from GH. Trying to push it back with the rebuke. But Miracle, the damage on the Yang is way too much. Kuro, the extra nuke brings him low enough for Miracle to finish the job. A first kill on the board for the Spectre. Keep yep. in mind that Team Liquid have done this before. That defensive tri lane when it needs to assemble, and they always give the kill to Miracle. And how many times have we seen this before? Kuroki, three wards to place. He gets the kill, and he's going to just go on this mission at the first night time around the seven-minute mark. He saves his wards during day to ensure they go up at night. I don't know. If I, if I were Captain, I'd be watching a little bit. Is, is this, Why is he doing this? Is this the logic? <laughs> yeah, it's, it look at the, well again. It's about warding for miracle. He tends to if it's if his carry's playing safe lane, he does this. You get a little triangle of safety to allow miracle full information in the lane. Yep. If he plays, they're like, aggressive. Totally other story. They put it either defensive tri camp or offensive bottom woods. I think that it's from Ari. Like he actually BTs. To, I mean, he TPs to the to the shrine so he can stack up the camp, but up on top, they're starting again, looking at the supports, the kick flies through, a little bit too early there from GH, but it won't matter if they can find that kill over on DY, they do have Vidari, here's his rotation on the back of a history, working with the Rubik, they're all connected together, Miracle, and she helps do more damage to his supports, but four heroes from VG Gaming, yep. and I feel like this is wings right now, like everybody together, everyone yep. fight as one. Uh, Vici been doing this oh, excellent all series though, they're playing fast, that's what you have to do if you want to be liquid who are always contented feels to let a support die, let a core die. They're not even minding it. They have two heroes in other lanes. And even though you've got this mid game potential, you look at Ori's uh, skill build, he's 3-0-3-1 right now. So no ability to take towers just yet. They're scanning. Here goes the arena of blood. GH can rolling bolt around that because hey, Rock can just slip past Rock. That's the way physics will work. And that kind of leaves Mars stranded up around the back. They scan to look for the kill, but with Weeha moving over, I, these lanes just become a little bit more musical. Rolling Boulder flies in from GH again, a little bit off target. The what? skewer, wait, what? He wasn't even in range of that. Now we've got double banishment. Up and running, Paparazzi, GH, Weeha, everybody gets back. Back out again, GH moves down the hillside and far, far away while Weeha continues to stack up the intel, drops the ultimate. It ain't enough damage just yet. Paparazzi still living through this. On bottom though. Yep, they, they are going underneath the tower, able to kill off DY, but back up towards top. GH will complete his TP away to safety. And that uh, frame didn't look quite right on the Spear of Mars, but hey, he's a god. Don't question a god. Oh, Miracle, how's that not last? How does the one on Earth feel like without that one? Here we go, three heroes down together, pick up and throw back. They're trying to keep mind control on the fight, but he's the tankiest one. Goes up against Ori, who's just letting the pulse sort of do its work, and mind yep. control is left for dead. There's no hero on Liquid that can match the damage output of Ori right now. That's why he's involved in every move that Vici make. Paparazzi three. will collect both bounties top. Yep, three bounty runes for Vici, one for Liquid. Yeah. It's even game, so kills, but still the gold lead to Vici. It's to be expected for a little bit. Lincoln seems to be the build on Paparazzi. It's an interesting decision. You do want to have like the stats, but it's the BKB timing that's going to be really critical. Liquid have nothing to deal with him once he picks up that item, and it's very difficult to play without one in this game against a Spectre, against the OD, who's going to consider spam orbs. And Miracle is actually going for that. Yeah, that minus you're talking about. So face boots up. How much? Like, what, what can VG do to punish here? Like, we've already seen them try and take some fights, but this is probably the least amount of damage done to Tier 1 towers in the first 10 minutes of this entire series. Yeah. Well, no it's... one's coming close. No one can push from Liquid, but all VG can do is push back the lanes as well. And it's to be expected. I mean, if Leshrac isn't maxing Edict and Liquid's playing OD Spectre, like, this is... This will be another slow one. Oh, this will be nice. Are they going to try an Astral over on Wii using Fake? Okay, so Ari can follow up with the stun, but uh, Weed's already backing up while up on top lane, rolling ball to forward again. Very much off the mark from GH, he'll get the kick out. And without the stun, Abarazzi's just happy to stand here. It's just with Kuro though, they don't get much out of it. Yeah, look at Ori. Mars is moving up from the side too. They just want Weed to move an inch further forward so they can get that. Yeah, he knows something's up. Yeah, Miracle's right behind him. Everyone's missing in the lanes. And you currently have a free farming centaur on bottom lane. You know something's wrong. Fade, now he gets the wrap around. He finally caught out Weeha. Will he be able to get the stun into the tree line? Oh, they're a little bit too far away, but do get the Mars ulti out. That'll work. Holding the OD in position and finding the kill. GH was ready for a fight. He has 
The Magnetite is up and running while Kura trying to fight against Paparazzi. Puts the false promise on him and Kura doesn't have enough heal to get through this. But back in mid, another disruption out from, uh, from Fade. He just has to banish him in and then skewer him up against the tree line. And GH was ready to fight, but he'll never get the fight he was looking for. Yang even wants to have more. And there's not much mind control can do. VG Gaming continue the pressure on the tier one tower. I love this from VG. Just play the 4-1. They've gained a bit of ground as this goes down. You can't contest Paparazzi top with any hero. And the four heroes mid, especially with Golem behind them, are too strong. That uh that Astral Steel is huge. They have this great ward that just sees Liquid set up two kills already. You know, this is Liquid's draft can't fight right now. This is not how their lineup is built to function. That's why I'm wondering if that hand of Midas is just a little bit too late for Spectre. If you need her to be able to like Spectral Haunt into the fight, be involved, be an actual hero and not an anti-mage. This isn't like last game where you hit 25, it's like, well, okay, I'm gonna just win this entire match. You can see the ping down bottom. Another tier one tower. Kuro, trouble. Yang's just trying to line him up and uh, Fade will be there to help him if they can just get in range and that's exactly what happens. Rebuke, push him back, stride over the waveform. Fade actually gets the kill secure with the level 4 Fade Bolt. The trade-off is Mind Control taking the tier 1 tower on bot, as you were saying. Yep, he's got the hood finished as well. Going for Blink next. That could be a moment. Hi, DY. Quick kick, turn on the Magnetize. Weeha wants to come over for a free kill. He's worried about... So risky. <laughs> DY actually faked the rock drop yeah. at one point, I think. I mean, they know there's five heroes in this area. They did not have any vision with the two deep wards they have in the Radiant Jungle, so you just can't get aggressive there, especially with Golem able to be dropped. It's the blink timing for Mind Control that's going to change things for Liquid. They want to be able to find pickoffs. Team fights are not their forte just yet. They need more time. And yeah, he went off from the Midas. Yep. Switched over to Yasha, build up for Miracle. At least then he could jump into the back lines and hurt some people. Like, yep. you need the Diffuser Blade to go with that Manta style. He smokes it'll, up. It'll be the chaos of, uh, of the team fight. The Liquid will rely on, but VG Gaming, they are looking to continue their pressure. The Observed Ward knows and shows them which way Weeha ran out. My Control's already stolen the double damage rune. They won't find what they're looking for, and their scan goes begging as well. Yule's up on the Lesh now. Very effective against the Oracle. They're trying to ensure that they can kill Kuro at the start of these fights. Yeah, they're going to try and push the bottom lane, and uh, a fresh Kaya over on the OD. Maybe this is one of those points where Liquid has to draw a line. It's t you, you can't fight, Toby. You, you cannot take an engagement unless Vici run up a high ground. Like, if they want to battle on this active shrine, sure, maybe you take that if you're Liquid, but... Otherwise, you just plant one hero, like Miracle is right now, on this objective. They have no real initiation on Vici, so as long as he doesn't catch a Yules or a Lift, he should be fine. But Vici, they're wrapping around right on top of this ward that's going to fade in a moment, but provided some lovely vision to help out Team Liquid and ensure Miracle can stay safe. I feel like Miracle, actually, um, <laughs> he's playing the role like it's a three. I'll be in the trees, I'll spam my Spectral Dagger. If I push the wave back, then we're gonna be fine. Nothing's gonna stop these tier one towers from going down apart from the fort, but you may as well use it. It'll refresh anyway once the tower drops. But Ari's not having mana issues. He's totally fine. Mid lane. Yeah. Nothing gonna happen here. Fate just... does have the range, now he's got Ether Lens. So he's able to steal, drop him back down again. A quick imprisonment from Weena, trying to waste the time of this ultimate, the Brother Rock, it's gonna come down as well. GH knows he needs to help out, a quick kick flies forward, Ooh. slows up Yang, and with a stampede, Weeha's got the movement speed. TP's up towards the top lane, as I think we actually have some pressure being applied, but that's why Ari hits the split earth, and Mind Control, he's already used the stampede, he's already used his escape mechanism, and with Fade and Ari together, Mind Control pulls down, retaliate is what's stolen, and Paparazzi hits him with the adaptive strike, and goodbye to the Centaur. Yeah, VG playing their draft to perfection for now. Getting towers, getting kills, constantly looking to sweep the map. You don't necessarily need to kill Miracle if he can find his friends and force them to farm inefficiently in his own woods instead of having the luxury of shoving out a wave. So what do you do? You just send your entire team into his woods. That'll keep him out. And DY does plant the observed ward. Wasn't pinged by Miracle, this is night time, so we wouldn't have had vision. But it would not surprise you when VG takes such an aggressive posture over mid lane that they've lost control of their own jungle. With no Golem, though, there isn't that hard counter initiation. You see, Mind Control's halfway to the blink. If he can find a way to get on top of Ori, get on top of Fade, these heroes just explode. The Haunt, the Earth Spirit follow-up. You know, this yeah, liquid name of the game is not about towers or team fighting, but finding isolated cores. Oh, Yang's gonna get his blink dagger well before Centaur. 
Weezer working into that BKB. Yep. And uh, now they're finally, it's like, okay, now we worked out what was happening, but it's the last minute of a ward, which has already served VG very well. Yep. Mind Control is adding that pressure on bottom lane, but again, it's not like Arc Warden. You can't just keep this split push going on bottom lane. In fact, VG do a better split push game. Yep. The paparazzi has the link. It's complete now. Mm -hmm. it's very, very tough safe. to sit down. More importantly, he'll be able to stay on map at almost all times. He's been playing this top area of the map. He's got vision now as well, protecting him. Two wards. Do you actually like the uh, the Lincoln Spear considering like host stumps able to come out? ES won't care about it. it. It's a player preference thing. Paparazzi's always loved the Lincolns. Players like Mick Gay prefer the mask of Madness, or um, the Morbid Mask into maybe a Yasha earlier BKB perhaps, but we'll see. I, I think it works here because you're, you're ahead. You want to ensure you're accelerating. And the later you can buy BKB, the better in this game specifically, because there really isn't much Liquid have to deal with you once you acquire it. The stats and regeneration also look like a nice choice as well, but Mind Control, careful how long as he wants to stick around here. GH thinks about helping out, but if he does, he'll reveal his position. Here comes the Stampede, the stone kicks forward, but look at Paparazzi. He wants to keep the chase going. Doesn't have the high maneuverability, and uh, already Liquid have backed off, but VG smoke up. Yep. No stampede, which means there's Great. no escape mechanism for Liquid. They're reading Liquid. You know that if they pressure him bottom, they'll look to mirror map, go top. Great scan. Sees mind control. The jump in. Yang, he'll actually not hit on his target. Makuro knows he's a backup. He wants to stay in range for the false promise to keep him alive, but it won't happen. Begin to TP. Is there a stun? Is there a control? Oh, there's a Yule Scepter able to reach him. And Kuro will get nuked down by Ari. That's great. So they, they were looking to go top, but then catch him on the scan. Recognize they're still down there. Liquid trying to like outsmart, you know, Miracle, let him take top. We, they want to keep trying to play three lanes, but VG are punishing, finding the kills, growing this gold lead steadily. And the, and the problem with the Spectre is that, same with OD, you don't have those built-in farming mechanics. You can't just turn mana into CS. Obviously spamming daggers are right, but it's not nearly the same pace at a more, as a Morph, as a Lesh. Even the Rubik can push out lanes faster. Oh, Fade and Yang are coming in so deep. Weeha, they do have the Observe board up and running. So I see Paparazzi walking under the Opt and Sentry. Well, I guess planted in return. All right, they don't plant anything down. But we have definitely wants to fight. He's just looking at Paparazzi. His early nuke won't be anywhere near enough. Like, like they can't burn off all of his mana yet. And goodbye to uh, GH. Caught out inside the tree lines. Looks like they actually dropped the rock for the kill on him too. And you can't initiate on the morph. That's the Lincolns, right? You're not a. You can't get astral. And if you think about it, the astral into GH roll through is really what threatens the morph. So. You prevent that, where is the actual catch going to come from on Liquid? It's, it's all on the hoof stop into GH, and there's still no blink on MC. I'll have it in a sec, though. They can collect enough of these bounty runes. Yep. They have Vision of Miracle, though. Yeah, and that's exactly what VG Gaming want, to catch up Miracle. I know we're focusing a lot on what like Liquid can do as far as initiation and items they need, because they really do need it. All the farmers coming into Miracle to try and catch him up so he can actually fight against VG Gaming. But yeah. until then, VG Gaming's initiation is pretty obvious. Yang does exactly this. Put the wall up. Miracle, he wants to try and dagger himself over this, but it won't work. Miracle will get popped off, and that's a long time dead. So no farming in that time, yeah. but also losing the money. Liquid are going to have a Blink on Centaur and a BKB on Wii in just a moment. They have to make something happen with it because the Link and Z-Blade timing on the Morph thing is insane. Look at oh, DY's positioning. Oh, this, DY. Slow him down. The Centaur is not the most aerodynamic of heroes. And now Morphling will arrive. A quick hop stomp of Paparazzi. He's got the stun available, Mike. Tronos, he can't just TP away to safety. He's dead down here on the bottom lane. Least distraction for mid lane because that's also kind of currently going off. But it's the other way around. Ari working with Yang. Weeha, what's he got? He doesn't really have much. A quick imprisonment, but, well, Ari will send him up and towards the air. Down comes Yang. Hold him in position from Kuro, but the skewer, the spearing him away. And Miracle wants to do, well, he wants to farm, but VG Gaming, they're all over Liquid side of the map. VG, they're, they're playing so well. They're yep. just tightening the noose ever so slightly. This is what, kind of what happens. Maybe we, uh, we uh, used all of our good luck charm on uh, on game four. Because right now, VG is making this absolutely clinical, and a way back for Liquid does not really appear to be fully present yeah. yet. It's going to be a play. And here you can see three smokes ready on Kuro. He sees the same timing that we do. Blink on Centaur, Spectre Haunt up, BKB Weeha. You've got to find a catch. You can go for Paparazzi good before ops. he's able to get the ghost off. They have to walk up this hill a little bit more blind, however. They're waiting for everyone to be nice and close. They see, see the, the creeps, ward. one of them dead, farming on the side, mind control. It's a little bit too far away to go yeah. for the blind one, and yeah, okay. 
They, you can feel it, paparazzi, the spidey senses. Mm -hmm. I think... Actually, they, expect are a little bit more isolated underneath the tier two. All right. And you can play so fast around the map now because Ori has those early bots. It's a greedy build, but you combine that with the Morphling, both of these cores can eat through creeps. Farm BT is coming in. That's coming from Kill the creep! Kill it. Kill it. Oh, he didn't kill the creep! Now we have with his BKB wants to keep the fight going. He's stolen some decent intel. The damage not is not enough. Yang on almost no life gets out, but then the Spectral oh, holds it. They're in target, but the rocks in the back line. Miracle, he's being controlled on the front. Mid Team Liquid, they're just separated in two different parts of the moment. Before your fight gonna come in. Johan back for mind control. Miracle, he got false promised up, giving him the life to escape with GH, but Ori is hunting him down. New GH, oh, he can't even roll Boulder away. Kura will finally be brought down. The rebuke kill, the two supports of Liquid. That was meant to be Liquid's timing to find the fight. And if they lose their biggest core as well, it's beyond the disaster. Miracle back to the tier two tower, but VG doesn't care about that. They care about the movement speed and vision. And well, they've got it. Blink forward, hits the target against the wall. Miracle goes up and the wave form down, but Ori has. The lightning, the real thunder god, and then mind control reveals himself up on top, trying to push back the wave. But Vici don't They're stop, just... they just keep going. Then the energizer funny pushing it back. There's one tree to use, and you know you've got to kill. Liquid are falling apart at the seams. The horse is unshoed. It's the lack of tower damage, the lack of team fight, Toby. You just don't have tools right now on Liquid. And Vici, you're just all over the map, swarming constantly. Oh, that TP is very optimistic, but uh, <laughs> goodbye. If, if, you, tower. if you kill Yang Mars, maybe that changes. But of course, Weehan just one auto attack away from having enough damage with that ultimate to finish him off. He responds by spearing three of his allies to ensure <laughs> follow-up kills. Well, the punishment for not getting your initiation perfect. Or your, even just your calculation. We had no other choice. Yeah. He would have walked out of range of the Eclipse, but it did feel like Liquid would try and take two fights yeah. at the same time. It's, it's, they, they recognize the window that they're in, because if you let Paparazzi, who now has an E-Blade, get, get a BKB in Aegis, what, what do you have to control him? Sure, you can save your allies for a moment, but they have so much team fight on Vici. They can just Marzolt with the blink forwards. You've got Warlock Golem. It's simple. This is a different game. Vici, if they learn anything from game four, it's that uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna play to win now. We're gonna uh -huh. go dive and not allow Liquid to buy time to just get to the point of the late game where you know Dota is no longer recognizable. One shot, Rashawn. Come on. Not only because of Vale, right? It was only because of Vale. Of Vail. Team Liquid, they at least have some time on their side of the map after the last fight, but that's only because Vici. They're grouping themselves up, they're regaining control of vision. Team Liquid have put two Observer Wars and Sentry combinations down the bottom, so they want to see VG if they come up through the south. Oh my god, BKB for the track as well. OD is becoming a lot less useful. Mind control, there's a jump in. Paparazzi trying to use the hop stomp. Not finding the right timing because of the yours from Ori, but he has the E-play pop defensive from Weeha. Getting the Astral off, saving his three position. We get one bounty rune as well. The Manta will be completed on Miracle. His damage output just got a huge spike. Yep. So but the desolate damage. Fiji commits so much at killing off the Centaur, yep. which is so low cooldown, like no major abilities, no big cooldowns, and you see how much Liquid would have to do in return. Like yep. Centaur's already down to one third just from that. All right, Yashikaya needs more attack speed. Miracle, the isolated one on the bottom lane. Fade, he's gonna begin this fight. Where's the extra health? Miracle wants to go up the tree line, and now he will be able to do so with the Stampede. Yang coming in through the side, the rock, and the Fennel Bonds! Team Liquid caught out, We has the BKB, he's hunting down the back line, he's going up DY, remove the upheaval, build up this intelligence, you've already lost your Spectre, so there's a lot more pressure on Weeha, but he's got no other cause, they've already dropped down, the pipe comes in from Centaur, Kuro's battling in the back line, maybe with the Magnetize, GH gonna to help with Kuro to get that kill over on Faber, triple kill from Paparazzi, he's way too strong, and the RD for everything he built up, had nothing more to give, GH is on the run, Centaur's bought back, and they're looking for the Adaptive Strike connection, it'll head, and VG Gaming, they want to make sure Liquid do not have a way out. Another Yule Scepter, GH is gone. And VG Gaming can punish hard. Lesh is still up, and he'll push. Level 19 on Ori, 6, 0, and 9. Paparazzi, the mirror, 9, 0, and 6. They go straight high ground. You got no buyback on Miracle in that fight. It would have been the perfect opportunity for the Haunt and back in, but there's just no gold. They're, they're all broke. It's all too slow. Too slow from Liquid. No money in the coffers, what have you got? 
A melee racks to fall. Paparazzi doing the job. Mind Control's watching. He knows there's no fight. There's no catch up. VG Gaming are going to be very, very good about this. There's a double damage rune waiting for you in top river to go and kill Roshan. The second they see it, the rest of VG will come. Honestly, Toby, watching this game, if I didn't know better, uh, you would have thought game four didn't even happen. Uh, I, VG Gaming, if anything, they learned from it. Yep. Took the lessons and have now utilized them to start crushing Team Liquid. You compare this to the lower bracket final, where a very similar kind of game, an Arc Warden from Liquid turning around some, some unbelievable comeback, VP lose, and then game two, they look shell-shocked. Yep. Here, VG just, it, 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 they yep. brushed it off. That was a 70 minute game or something crazy. This this bodes well for TI. Oh, yeah. When you're able to have this level of mentality after what was an intense game, and now you can go for another fight. Miracle up in the trees. Liquid, they're trying to smoke themselves off. Maybe it's time for a Spectral Haunt. No, he's just going to dagger himself in. If he can TP back to base, he could regenerate up and then Spectral Haunt out to have this fight. That's exactly what's going to happen. Liquid are most definitely cantering forward. They're smoked up. They're ready to go. They got to find catch. There's Spectral Haunt. They see. Yang, Stampede in. They need to get the control. They need a stun. They see Rubik in the tree lines. But is this really what you came for? Is this why you're here? To kill off a Rubik? Rubik Fight instantly back. fights back with the upheaval. They can't walk away. The Funnel Box holds them in again. We are Come on. The damage output. BKB does to protect you. It was all a lie. GH can turn on the Magnetize. Miracle. He's stuck in the tree lines. He can't get back out. He's actually locked there for the moment. Ari will get the stun. That is a horrible position for Liquid. This will be Roshan for VG Gaming. Paparazzi has already got the double damage and he's playing around as the mo as the ES for the moment. Drop the box. You can see push why. the mid. They actually just want to push it. This is why Liquid wanted to get aggressive with their BKB blink timing because now there's three cores on the side of Ichi that all have their own BKBs. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing you can do as Liquid. You can save each other for a moment here and there, but 10 seconds of immunity, yeah, they, they, they need three or four. DD on Paparazzi as well. Oh, the grab. They've already found a new target. The OD buy back instantly out from Weeha. It's desperation now. VG, these pickoffs come way too easy for them. Weeha's looking at the fight. They're smoked up. But without the Centaur Stomp, it ain't gonna happen. And already VG Gaming are backing up. They're giving no opportunities to Liquid. It's a barren desert. And Liquid are thirsty. And top Shrine, Roshan, Rinse, Repeat. It, you know, credit VG. They, they played a bit too slow last game, but mm -hmm. there's no uh, Ice Frog I win button I for Team Liquid coming up anytime soon. Weehan says he knows what's to come. I think we all know what's to come. Right now it's a VG no. win unless Liquid can pull out something absolutely magical. They Five man it. smirk up. This is the last roll of the dice. VG know it. They smirk up. We turn around. Everyone has a bad habit. The Rock will drop with a bad ball to reconnect. Oracle instantly deleted. GH may be in the back lines. He can cause some problems with the help of Miracle. But they still are. can't even kill a Rubik. That's who they were trying to start on. And now DY. They're all just a stolen stampede. Running around. Paparazzi jumps forward. Weeha. Double. Oh, the false promise from Thor, trying to keep him alive. He's in the trees. He's still holding the eclipse. They need so much intelligence to make this work. But now Ari will just PKB, looking to kill him off with a follow-up stun. My God, miracle! At least he can survive through all of this. Now the eclipse will hit the deck, but Ari kills Weeha. Dead for a minute and a half. D1 the TP. They're all going down because they want to kill Miracle. He is target number one. Liquid's most wanted. The catapult reveals him. He's staggering over the tower. The chase is on. The hog stumps forward. Miracle, he's looking at Juku. Is there a stun? No, the TP to the shrine, but Miracle TP's home. Oh, way to safety. At least he delays VG Gaming to going into Roshan, but they will not stop it. No, they will not. This time, VG, they'll be uncontested. Love decision, just smoke out. You know Liquid's coming to fight you. They respect their enemies, even with this big of an advantage. The only real way you're in trouble is if somehow you get caught in a choke point unawares. Vici know what's up. I still can't believe they couldn't kill the Rubik. Like, they couldn't kill any of the back lines they jumped on. They're gonna and scan now, out, go for the steal. Looking for the Afu. GH, a little bit too light. Rolling boulder. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, 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 no. This is, uh, <laughs> oops, um, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, just like Team Liquid, looks like GH Earthspear might be a bit out of gas as they uh, they fought admirably.
It is game five. They have the defusal on the Spectre now. You know, you can the never truly count this team out. The game has changed. It really hasn't. Um, it well, has in some ways. But Liquid there, they got their backs up against the wall. Spectral Horn's available. So Diffuse the play will at least make a difference in the fight. They're going to dust as well. They're able to get, at least get some detection. No protection from any kind of glimmer shenanigans. That's what the Warlock was using before. As VG Gaming beat into the racks. There's your Blink Skewer back with the e play pop. Goodbye, Koro. And then Yang hits the back lines as well. With the production of the BKP, Weehan has practically no damage whatsoever. The BKP will wear off in a second. He still wants to build up intelligence. He doesn't have Eclipse up. This is the bigger problem. Weeha is the BKB as Paparazzi jumps in. Weeha still looking for some more damage. Yang will go set himself up. DY finally going down thanks to Spectral Horn. They're into the back lines, but Miracle, he's alone. Ori's already there. So is Yang. The spear, one plus second stumble. Hold him on the tree. Bring him down. And this could just be the game. BG Gaming, they're under the tier four towers practically. And this Morbling wants to solo everyone. He's still got Aegis the Immortal. There's the double hop stomp out, but GG is called. Team Liquid fought valiantly. They gave us these two teams an amazing game for the VG Gaming. They didn't drop single series in this competition. Through the group really? stage in the first position, they battled all the way through the winner's bracket as well. They were tested, however. TNC 2-1, the winner's bracket against Liquid. And here again, they go the full distance. Roshan, he'll shatter Liquid. In